Buongiorno. It is Tuesday morning and I've already had one sale overnight, which is probably, well, it is normal, but I've had such a flurry the last few days. I'm used to waking up and be like, oh, I've got at least three items to do before um, I go out tomorrow. And yeah, one item overnight, tenner plus shipping for a night I paid less than a pound for. Can't complain, only bored for the weekend. Uh, so yeah, flying out as far as those sorts of things go. Um, I've just got to do a couple of bits of, regarding eBay before I go out, but it's only quarter past eight. So yeah, it's um, it's it's not raining. I take that as a positive, I suppose. Did someone stay stacks? You know what I've realised? Every time I do a little run, I need to end it with a zoo. Oh, I'm 33. What a rubbish start to the day. Just no lids, which means I've got to down it to at least like there before I move in the van. Little update, made a purchase. Harry Potter years one to four on a DS for a quid. Lovely jubbly. Pair of trainers. Stefan Janowski, skateboarding thingy majiggies, five pound 50. I'm actually at a next to an antiques dealer because I bought this opium pipe a long time ago. I want some more information or potentially a price point, blah, 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 blah. I believe that is tin. That's where you do the opium and then you go. But I want to know if they can maybe date it, what it might be worth, if there's an offer on a table, blah, 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 blah. So I want to go and do that now. Uh, I'll probably have a little butchers around there as well. See what's going on and see whether there's, I don't know, anything that might tickle my fancy. Got a GoPro just in case. Um, I feel obliged. So it was as I feared, the um, the opium pipe was a souvenir from somewhere like Thailand. Uh, and it looks like it's just a, a cheap souvenir and I paid a tenner for it. So at least now I know that it's not worth a huge amount. I can just get rid of it, to be honest. So I just got to a job in Flackwell Heath and took a detour, didn't record because there was like 20 people in there. Uh, one of them was, Obviously a reset. I've seen him in there a couple of times, but he was looking at the electrical stuff. Electrical stuff in that shop is normally quite expensive. But these were sitting there for four quid. The the barkers for four quid. I mean, I don't know what size they are. I didn't even look at the size. I was like, oh, barkers. Oh, they're size twelve. They're huge. But they're they're size twelve. They're ease. It's an it's an odd size. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but Barkers, rogue Barkers, in like a really nice red maroony colour. Uh, yeah, every bloody day of the week. Thank you very much. Now to actually go and do the job. Yes, yeah, so I'm the sort of person that opens up a package as soon as it comes through the door. It is my replacement Game Boy colour back. That I purchased the Game Boy the weekend, missing a bag got the replacement now i can sell the bloody thing okay so the weekend just gone i bought a bundle which included a game boy color along with pokemon gold now believe it or not i haven't fired it up yet i know that the the spring at the back is a little bit iffy but that should still be fine i'm hoping is it let's just try this first Okay, that's good, that's good. This is so grubby, it needs so much cleaning. Right, and then let's try, I'm gonna leave it as it is though, as like a, a restoration project. So we'll stick that in. Not a bad match, third party. I mean, it's a little bit loose, but it'll do. Okay, let's see whether the game works. Oh, let's try that again, because the sound was a bit funny there. There we go. It's loaded up, does have a save file, a 20 year old, 22 year old battery inside it, possibly. Ah, uh, no, it's completely bust. But it's working. Cool, right, I will get that listed. Already got a yellow one, so I don't need another one, especially one that is uh, this manky. But it works! Right then. Oh, let's grab some stuff. Did I put the Marvel thing away? Where's, where's, where's Rhino gone? I bet I've left him downstairs and I've just come upstairs and he's not even gonna be up here. 
I thought I put him over there. Maybe I put him in here. I don't think I did. Oh, for God's sake, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but we are looking for a Yu-Gi-Oh game, which is in here, which has got all that crap on top of it. Actually, it should be quite light. Right, hang on. It is, look at this. This is amazing content, isn't it? A capsule monster Colosseum sold for 14 99 all in and it's only been on for two days i think here we go look at that sexy foot lovely jubbly and not going very far at all but it should be it should be lonesome dove this box set here i think i bought it brand new but there was movement of the discs so i ended up having to open it so i can make sure that nothing was damaged uh, but they have sold for 24.99 plus signed for shipping and it looks a little bit like that so keep an eye out pre-owned well over 20 quid all right and now hang on where's that rhino would i put him in here i don't think i did i don't think i did i don't think i did I don't really know. Right, in here, there should be a t-shirt that says Blue Marvel, and I think it's in a not see-through. Oh, is this it? 2009, Blue Marvel. That's the one. It's a really rubbish shirt, t-shirt. Paid a couple of quid. It's not as retro as I thought it was, and I sold it for 9 99 all in. Large letter. Lovely, jubbly. Just gonna have another look at that bloody rhino figure. I mean, I should have really have just looked where I think it is before coming up, but that that's too logical. Uh, I'm missing bits from the same hall. Uh, he's not in there. This should just be all robots, and it is. That's just all robots and robot esque. There's a pigeon outside. I hate pigeons. Flying rats. No doubt I've just offended a pigeon person. Sorry, pigeon person, but I don't like pigeons. Um, right. Stupid, stupid rhino, where are you? Right, if it's not in here, I'm going to start panicking. Because this is the stuff that I've listed and I've not put away yet. And I could just put them away now. Oh, it's not here. Um, I'm actually going to have to put the camera down and and panic ever so slightly. You'll be glad to know I found it. You know when I got the Amiga game out yesterday, Epic? It was sitting on top of there. And I lifted the, uh, the lid, obviously it fell behind. But I sold that for 9.99 plus shipping. Got it as part of a bundle, which cost me three pound. So that's put me into profit already and this is the the lowest value item in there that's not going to be part of the bundle so that's brilliant time to package it up and we will end the video here see you guys tomorrow au revoir